Welcome back to the SciLife Academy. It's time for another training session. The life sciences industry in which quality is paramount already understands the vital importance of establishing and maintaining an audit program. As a quality professional, your role in ensuring compliance and continuous improvement cannot be overstated. To that end, let's delve into the key aspects of ISO 19011-2018 that will empower you to optimize your audit program. The scope of clauses 5.6 and 5.7 of ISO 19011-2018 is to ensure that the audit program is achieving its objectives and to identify any needs for changes and possible improvements. Let's get started. To uphold the effectiveness, efficiency and economics of your audit program, periodic evaluation is essential. For example, imagine you engage a third party for a peer review to gain an impartial assessment of an audit program. During evaluation, you should carefully assess the following elements. Audit schedules, audit team performance, audit team plan, audit feedback, and audit documentation suitability. Let's take a look at each element individually. Evaluate whether the audit program adheres to schedules, meets cost expectations, maintains quality standards, and covers the required scope and responsibilities. Thus, you must analyze individual audit schedules, costs, quality, scope, and objectives. Regularly evaluate the performance, competence, and effectiveness of the audit team lead, members, and technical experts. Evaluation of the audit team's performance is necessary to ensure that audits are completed in a timely and efficient manner and that the team is properly trained and qualified. It also helps to identify any errors of improvement or potential errors of risk. Ensure the audit plan provides clear instructions for a successful audit. For example, make sure the objectives of the audit plan are smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-bound. Make sure the structure of the audit plan has a logical flow and is organized in a way that allows for easy understanding and reference. Make sure terminology, definitions are clearly defined and audit methodology is consistent. Get feedback from the audit team members, auditees and management. Their perspective on the clarity of the audit plan can provide valuable insights into areas that may need improvement or clarification. Audit feedback can provide valuable insight into the clarity of the plan, as well as areas where stakeholders may need further clarification. Listening to their feedback and addressing their concerns can help to ensure that the audit is successful and that stakeholders' expectations and needs are met. Make sure that all audit processes and related documentation are reliable. The audit documentation should be tailored to the specific needs of the audit and the organization. It should also be regularly reviewed and updated to ensure that the documentation is comprehensive and complete. Several factors that may need changes include audit findings, effectiveness of the audit program, audit scope or audit program scope, the auditee's management system, standards and other requirements to which the organization is committed, external providers, identified conflicts of interest, the audit client's requirements. In summary, these factors should be reviewed regularly to ensure that the documentation is up-to-date and comprehensive. This will help ensure that the audit program is effective in meeting the organization's objectives. Additionally, any changes in the audit scope, standards or other requirements should be addressed to ensure that the audit program remains compliant with all applicable laws and regulations. Regular reviews of the audit program can help identify errors of inefficiency as well as identify any potential changes in the organization's objectives, standards or requirements. These reviews can also help ensure that the audit program remains compliant with all applicable laws and regulations. What is the best way to do this? The best way to assess program objectives is to establish specific key performance indicators or KPIs. 
Another recommendation is to conduct an independent assessment or involve a third-party auditor. Now let's discuss the responsibilities of the audit program manager. The audit program manager must ensure that the audit program is aligned with the overall organizational strategy, identify any areas of improvement, modify the audit program as needed, review the team's competence, and report the results of the audit program review to the organization. Let's now take a look at each responsibility individually. Ensure the audit program's overall goals align with the organization's strategy and plans. It is important to focus on addressing the most critical errors and risks that directly impact the achievement of the organization's objectives. This alignment helps prioritize resources, efforts, and actions to maximize the program's impact on the organization's success. Continuously seek areas for value creation and improvement to streamline the auditing process and overall performance. Audits are not static. You can adapt them based on lessons learned, evaluations and improvement opportunities identified. Another responsibility is to continually assess the knowledge skills and abilities of audit team leads and auditors. And finally, the last responsibility is to report the results of the audit program review to upper management. Reporting the results of the audit program review ensures that any necessary changes are implemented in a timely manner and that management is kept informed of any risks or opportunities that may arise. Let's now see the key factors of a useful audit program review. The audit program reviews presented to upper management should identify opportunities for improvement. The insights gained from this analysis can be used to make decisions and to implement subsequent analysis. Analyzing audit data over time involves analyzing results and trends. It's also a good idea to compare the audit program with similar audits in related industries. The review should also ensure audit program records meet the needs and expectations of clients, stakeholders and interested parties. A review of audit program records should ensure their suitability, sufficiency, accuracy and reliability. Lastly, it should ensure compliance with the company's requirements for protecting confidential, proprietary classified and sensitive information related to internal operations, clients and auditors. If you follow these guidelines and continuously improve your audit program, you will enhance your ability to uphold quality standards, ensure compliance and drive excellence. That's all. Thank you for attending this course. I hope you found it useful and that it has met your learning expectations. See you in other courses at the Academy as you continue your educational journey with Sidelife.